Good evening, everybody. So temperatures are dropping down into the upper 20s for most folks. So things are getting pretty cold outside. If you're heading out to your car anytime soon, allow some extra time to defrost that windshield because I know my car already had some frost building on it. So anywhere from the upper 20s for most this morning down to the lower 30s or tonight rather down to the lower 30s over in McKee. So we're cooling off quite a bit tonight and overnight we're dropping down to about the mid 20s. But the good news is is pinpoint Doppler showing nice clean sweeps on radar. We're staying nice and dry for the rest of the night and visibility not too much of an issue right now. Although overnight tonight we're expected to stay clear like we have been over the past couple of hours and because we're going to stay clear we are looking at the chance of more fog developing in the morning tomorrow and some of that fog becoming frozen because our temperatures will be dropping below freezing. So we could be dealing with some freezing frog in the morning, which will allow for some patchy ice to form on the roadway. So take your time as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning for all of your activities for your Sunday. Now skies stayed nice and clear throughout most of the day today. That's all thanks to this high pressure system that's still just parked over West Virginia. But over the next couple of hours, it's going to continue to move off. And then from there, a cold front is going to move into the area along with a low pressure system. So this cold front is going to bring us some cloud cover but over the next couple of hours, we are going to stay dry for most of Sunday. Things are going to be dry and gorgeous by Sunday night. We could start to see a couple of clouds developing and then that front's going to continue to move east, which is going to allow for a lot of cloud development overnight on uh, Sunday into your Monday as well and possibly some showers Monday morning and then throughout the rest of the day, we do have a chance of some scattered showers for much of your Monday. But for the most part, Sunday is going to be nice and dry and cold in the morning. Like I said, dropping down to 25 degrees by a around 7 o'clock in the morning, so it's going to be rather chilly to start off the day, but it's going to be a good day to wear layers because our temperatures are just going to steadily climb eventually into the upper 50s by tomorrow afternoon. Now, tomorrow's going to be a great day to be outside, good day to go biking if you want to do that. Temperatures are going to be rather mild, but a little bit warmer than what we saw today, and our skies are going to remain nice and sunny. And if you want to go running, good day to do that as well. Our air is going to be rather dry, which actually does bring me to another point. We could be dealing with some forest fires tomorrow as our air is pretty dry and winds are going to be on the calm side, so I'm not expecting that to be too much of a threat, but a good day to go running nonetheless and a great day to go walking as well. So things are looking like they're really going to shape up for just a great ending to this weekend. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now, as far as that seven day forecast goes, where your weekend is always in view, we've got a nice day tomorrow, but Monday, the rain chances do return and again on Wednesday as well. And then on Friday and a chance of some lingering showers moving into the area by Saturday because another cold front is going to move into the area just in time for next weekend, bringing us a fairly good chance of rain, especially for Friday afternoon, just for some light showers. Can't say enough, Allison. Beautiful day tomorrow. Get oh, out and enjoy beautiful it. Beautiful day. Get outside and enjoy it, please. <laughs> All right, Allison. Thanks. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight. Hope you have a great weekend.